And then here we have the library ASC Center, the Media Center and Cardiac Hill and Upper Campus. Well, Jessica will talk more about. Perfect. So again, let's start from the campus map. Now we're moving on towards like left hand, left bottom left corner of our campus, but library area is over there. So to begin with library, that's uh, the closed up version of the campus map. The library is pretty big, so they have a lot of um, buildings in the same spot. So make sure you don't get lost there. Okay, so let's start from the library. So our library, as, is, as I just said, is pretty big. So the second floor is our more traditional library where you go to study or borrow textbooks or books. And in that uh, library area, you can also reserve a study room, which is very nice. I'm the kind of person who needs to be in a very quiet um, setting if I really want to concentrate. So I usually reserve a room if I really want to finish something. But other than that, uh, you can go there and then chat with people. Again, don't chat too loud because it is still a library, but you can study with your friends. Um, but yeah, it's a very good place. And another great part of the library is that some people don't know, but students can borrow, check out calculators, even phone chargers and laptops. So I tend to use my phone too often and I usually run out of my battery. So if that's the case, I run to the library, go upstairs and check out my, not my, DVC's um, phone chargers. On the first floor, we have the Academic Support Center, which is shortened to say ASC. Academic Support Center is the place where it offers computers and tutors in various school subjects. So as Eve mentioned earlier, we also have Learning Center, but we have Academic Support Center where you can get uh, tutoring for many subjects. I personally as a, I attended there when I was taking a public speaking class. Uh, my professors gave me an extra credit for attending tutoring, but tutoring in general, you can you should be using that, utilizing that, not just to get extra credit, but because it really helps you in your academic ex excellence. So I highly recommend checking them out. And media center. So this is also the location where you can find our media center where students can check out like, um, DVDs, CDs, and audio equipment. Now we're gonna move on to the upper campus. Um, as you can tell from this campus map, we're now on the very left, left portion of the campus. To get there, uh, yeah, that's the close up version of the map. To get to that place, you do have to go through the cardiac hill. The cardiac hill, we call it a cardiac hill because it's a pretty steep um, stairs. So if you go from the very bottom until the very top, you can tell that your you did your cardio, 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 cardio activities for a day because it's pretty tough to go up there. That's why I don't usually go there, but if you have science related classes, good luck on you. So to start from the physical science building. Physical science building is where the chemistry and um, where students take chemistry and physics physics classes. And then they also have their own tutoring and uh, tutoring lab and computer lab on the bottom downstairs. To the next to physical science, we have ATC. ATC stands for the Advanced Technology Center. They have seven classroom based labs in this building. So if you're taking any computer related classes um, such as computer science, graphic design, or computer information technology, you, it's, high, it's likely that you'll be taking classes in this building. Also in ATC, we also have our student run newspaper, The Inquirer. They're also located based in this building. Now we also have astronomy and planet, planetarium. So it is a very good thing that DVC has these two things because sometimes, for example, um, astronomy professors might uh, let all students to go up there and then he or she might, uh, he or she will actually set up the telescope um, so that students can actually see the view of different planets. Now let's move on to Science Center. 
Science Center classroom is the place where which holds some of our science classes, such as astronomy, uh, geology, and even geography. And then the right hand, no, left hand side of the picture is our life's life and health science building. And this is where most classes for biology, nutrition, and oceanography courses are held. I've never taken any classes there, but I know that we have a real uh, cad cadav cadavers, cadavers in this building. So if you're a lucky person who can take uh, science classes, you'll be using those. So that was it for our tour. Thank you so much for coming with us, joining us. We do have a lot of uh, social media platforms, uh, such as Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat and YouTube. So we would appreciate it if you can follow us. We offer abundance of great information such as um, deadlines for certain things, events going on on campus, but we also share our daily lives as a student ambassador slash uh, regular students. 